summary. This document will be posted at this Google Docs website. Summary for maximum likelihood estimators. First thing I want to go over is the steps, sort of an algorithm. First is to find the density or mass function. Density if it's continuous, mass function if it's discrete. If we have a random sample, which for most of our problems we will, that implies, I use that arrow to imply, implies IID, then create likelihood function as the product of either the density functions or as the product of the probability of mass functions. Three. I'm going to take the natural log of the likelihood function, so I get a sum. And if this log likelihood function is a continuous function of the parameter, take the derivative of the log likelihood function with respect to the parameter, set it equal to zero. Then we're going to solve for the parameter theta and call that our estimator. Of course, you need to verify that that is a maximum. Last in summary is the advantages of the maximum likelihood estimator. I'll use the notation MLE, maximum likelihood estimator. First, this is a key idea. Any function of a maximum likelihood estimator is, is also a maximum likelihood estimator. Any function of a maximum likelihood estimator is a maximum likelihood estimator. For example, suppose we estimate the variance. Say it's a normal distribution, we estimate the variance. This is our maximum likelihood estimator. If we wanted a maximum likelihood estimator of just the standard D, we could take the square root of our maximum likelihood estimator from the variance. This will also be a maximum likelihood estimator. If we add as a constant for some reason, that would also be a maximum likelihood. Important idea, it's called the invariance property. Any function of a maximum likelihood estimator is also a maximum likelihood estimator. Finally, if the maximum likelihood estimator is unbiased, and if it is biased, we can make it unbiased by just subtracting the bias off, and by property one, that will be a maximum likelihood estimator. If the maximum likelihood estimator is unbiased, then it usually is minimum variance. It, in other words, it's a minimum variance unbiased estimator, which is very desirable properties. Unbiased, and of all the unbiased estimators, they'll have the minimum variance. Sometimes this notation is minimum variance unbiased estimator. And that concludes our lesson on maximum likelihood estimators. Remember, there's a part one and part two.